Hi, James. Have a seat. Hi, doctor. I'm uh, Randall. Uh, I'm his uh, care provider. I, I made an appointment because he's in a great deal of pain uh, when he sits and when he uses the restroom. Um, he won't talk about it and it's not getting any better. James, how long have you had the pain? I cannot talk about it. Would it be more comfortable if we talked in private? Maybe, I think so. Okay, Randall, would you mind stepping outside into the waiting room? Okay, I wanna help you, James, but first we'll need to talk about the pain you're having. Take your time. Something bad happened here. It is hard to talk about it. I understand. First, I'll need to examine you where you're having the pain, and then after that, we can talk about what's going on. Does that sound okay? Okay. It took courage for you to tell me what happened, and what happened is called rape. It's a crime. It's not your fault. No one deserves to get hurt. And I need to ask you, is someone still hurting you? Yeah, but I do not know how to stop it. By telling me what happened, you've taken the first step. I did not think anyone would believe me. The law says it's my job to report this, and I'll do that today. I'm scared about what will happen next. Can I call the police about it? It's important that all crimes be reported to the police. It's also important that you tell your caseworker. Rosa, our nurse, will ask you some questions so that we can make our report. She'll also refer you to Crime Victim Services. They can help you find counseling and other support for your recovery. Okay. Let's go over what we talked about. What do you remember? Men can be raped too, but it's not our fault. Rape is crime and must be reported. There are people who want to help and I can't recover. <laughs>